Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our sixth contest of the evening is fought in the Fight UK middleweight division under 185 pounds. Here I am with James Prenderville. James is on his debut fight tonight. He's fighting a guy from UTC. Um, he is an independent fighter, uh, but currently trains with uh, Neil McLeod. Uh, McLeod's in Aylesbury. James, how are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. Excellent. What's your preparation been like for your first contest? Uh, it's been pretty good. Um, no injuries. Um, but he came in well and weight, so um, all good. Excellent. Now, um, are you more of a striker or a grappler, or are you a, a true MMA fighter? Um, I like to get all round, but um, obviously see, see, how he, see what he's doing, react to what he's doing, and um, hopefully give a good fight. Excellent. Well, I mean, UTC, that's where your opponent's from. Very, very good camp. Obviously very, very strong. So I'm sure that you've got a, a game plan that you're going to be working to tonight, yeah? Um, yeah, there's a bit of a game plan. Um, we've done a little bit of research on him, watched a few of his fights, um, obviously with fight for family. So, yeah, have a little watch. Excellent. Got a bit of a Movember going on there? Anything, anything for charity tonight? Um, no, not, not here. Um, just doing, doing this through work. OK, good stuff. And uh, any message for your opponent? Um, no, no, just like, hopefully he comes on and gives, gives a good fight. Brilliant. James, thanks for your time today and good luck in the cage. Thank you. Here I am with Kev O'Kane. Kev trains out of UTC. Kev's number eight in our build tonight, and he's fighting He's fighting a guy called James, who's an independent fighter. Kev, how you doing today, mate? Good, thank you. Excellent. You're looking in good shape there, Kev. How's your training been yeah, going? Yeah, been great. Eight hard weeks at UTC, so I'm in the best shape I've ever been, so all good. Fantastic. Well, you've got a good record at four and one, yeah. and you're training with some animals down there in UTC. Day. You've got the likes of Yannick Batty, who's a, a, who's a veteran of Fight UK, yeah, yeah. and then even, up, even further up the ranks, you got the likes of Vaughn Harp, uh, Vaughn Lee, yeah. who's uh, currently uh, currently fighting in the UFC. Right. So I would assume your sparring's pretty tough yeah, down there. Yeah, Leon as well. Leon fighting at the top level in Bama, so, so every, every day is hard. So good stuff. Great, good. good. Stuff. And you're in the gym every day, yeah, I assume. In the gym every day, yeah, six days a week. So. Excellent. So have you got any particular game plan for your opponent? No, I just go go with the flow. I don't really like to have game plans, but I'm just going to try and keep it standing. If anything, I prefer to keep it standing. So you want to, you're looking for the knockout, yeah? yeah the knockout, yeah. Knockout's everything. So. Good stuff. <laughs> any message for your opponent? No, just good luck and how you're in shape, so I am. <laughs> Excellent. Well, look, I'm looking forward to a barnstorm on myself. Uh, best of luck tonight. I hope it all goes well for you, and we'll see you in the cage later. Thank you very much. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Bista. He's 28 years old, stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing at 174 pounds. He's an independent fighter, and tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for James Perendeville. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Coventry. He's 24 years old, stands six feet, two inches tall, Weighed in at 185 pounds. He fights out of UTC and has a mixed martial arts record of five contests, four wins and one loss. Let's hear it for Kev O'Kane. So once again here at Fight UK 10, we have welterweights in action as James Prenderville in the sprawl shorts. Gray and red against Kev O'Kane from UTC in the blue shorts. O'Kane with a significant experience advantage, been in there before, knows what it's like to win, but so often we see it with debut guys. Dave on this amateur scene, a, a real box of tricks a lot of the time, but that being said, some nice crisp stand-up from Kev O'Kane to start the, the bat off with. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a betting guy, Ben, but if I was, when you're looking at an independent guy going against such a renowned gym as UTC, plus when the fighter has the experience of previous bouts you know I'd expect this to go one way but let's see what Prenderville's got he's certainly not coming to lie down Ben he's throwing punches and he's you know he's staying in there at the moment Kevo Kane just stalking his guy he landed a nice one two earlier looking for that right hand well that from O'Kane what he's doing there is he's looking to counter quite a bit and obviously that's going to make his opponent not want to throw at all That being said, as we say earlier, O'Kane really dictating the pace, Dave. He's got the center of the cage. He's moving round. He's making Prenderville kind of come to him a little bit as well. 
Yeah, Trying Prenderville's to... left hand is a little low, Ben, and I think O'Kane has noticed that. He's looking for the right hand. Prenderville's his guard's just not quite high enough. O'Kane's going to look to counter, land that big right round the corner, and that could be she, all she wrote. What a nice leg kick. Buckle Prandevel a little bit. Oh, and there's a nice brutal combination. Low kick. And just walks off, pulls his man up. back up. Yeah, I like to see that. Yeah, very nonchalantly. Kevin Kane lets Prandevel back to his feet. See if he can find a home for that right hand. And obviously landing that kick, Davies kind of established that as a weapon. He's going to have Prendeville thinking about that quite a lot. Again, circling round, just almost looks like he's just waiting to pull a trigger. Leading with that right hand now is Kev O'Kane. Another big leg kick really winding up into those is O'Kane. Yeah, Prendeville did not like that first leg kick. I mean, who would? But oh, a beautiful combination that shots him, Ben. I think he's hurt. I like the uh, calmness Kevo Kane's showing, Ben. He's very casual at the moment, just taking the center of the cage. Not rushing things. Another nice one, too. Clearly ahead thus far in this round and that low kick. kick he could get a stoppage with those kicks Ben <laughs> Prenderville very tender on that leg Ben as he walks back to his corner he did not enjoy those low kicks one bit I think see former Fight UK favourite Yannick Bahati in the corner there of the UTC man showing us some great fights over the years still a great prospect in the UK Prendival throws a kick out himself, but the hands look very low in the second round, Dave, and that's something he's got to be mindful of. Yeah, the left hand's just simply too low, Ben. You know, it, it's a miracle that the, the right hand hasn't landed solidly. Oh, and as I say that, another one goes in. As I said, Ben, credit to Prendival. He hasn't come here to lie down. He, uh, he's throwing shots. He's looking busy. He's very mindful of that low kick now. I guess clear at the end of that round that he's he taken more of those kicks than he'd, that he'd ever want to take. Yeah, he's, he's very aware of that, but okay to his credit, a very calm, very measured performance. Another oh, kick low kick hurt him. He's not enjoying those low kicks. From an independent guy, Ben, I mean, you know, you've got to wonder who they're training with and when you're looking at conditioning, how many low kicks is he being forced to take day in, day out in the preparation for a fight? And there's another one. I think this is going to be stark, Dave. I can't see him taking too many more of these. No, I think another solid leg kick, and that could be it. Corner of Prenderville calling for a Superman punch. Ambitious. And there's another one. Beautiful low kick. A real clinic now on show from Kevo Kane. And the thing that makes this worse as well is that Prenderville is constantly circling. So he doesn't want to be a static target because he's afraid of those leg kicks coming in. So he's constantly putting weight on that leg. And there's another one. Okay, he's got his game plan, Dave, and he's, he's sticking to it. He's, he's dictating exactly what happens in this fight. There's a nice big right. As we said there, Dave, capitalizing on that low hand position. Yeah, it's been low since round one. Um, There's surprised. another big kick. Kane hasn't landed it more, but he's, he's taking his time, Kane. I, I guess from Kane's point of view, Ben, I mean, it's been a flawless performance, but maybe his corner would be looking for him to maybe step up the pace now and look for that stoppage because it's certainly well within him you know I, I think if Kevo Kane turns it on and opens a tap so to speak he, he can get Prenderville out of there Prenderville's game though Dave he's thrown a lot of shots but the thing that O'Kane has done, Dave, and it's what I said at the start with those counters is he's got Prandeville really mindful of even throwing. He's got him into this game where all he seems to be doing is kind of is running around and lets him back up on that leg. I wonder how much punishment that leg's going to take. Okay, moving Mark Woodard out of the way a little bit there, Dave. He wants to get back yeah, in. Yeah, Mark Woodard took a bit of a look there at Prandeville. 
I think if he goes down from another low kick, the ref might say that's enough for him. There's another oh, big kick right on the knee. knee. That one. And anybody who's ever trained any kind of stand-up knows that those add up very, very quickly. Yeah, and it's it's not the slappy ones, Ben. All these, it's that dull thud when you know it's all been left in the leg. Sometimes the, the slappy ones sound more impressive for those in attendance, but it's, it's that dull thud just above the knee, a real tender area there. Third and final round here at Fight UK 10. Kev O'Kane in the blue shorts against James Prendervelt in the grey and red sprawl shorts. And as we've said there, David, the story of this fight have been the leg kicks of Kev O'Kane. There it is again. The thing I like about Kevo Kane as well, David, is it's not just one leg kick. It's not just one leg kick coming from the outside. He's throwing different legs. He's throwing him inside, outside. He's really giving his opponent a lot to think about. He's reacting well as well. Yeah, he is. He's going, as you say, on the inside. Oh, nice left hand. That shook him there. Credit to uh, Penderville's cardio, Ben. He's, he's been busy on the outside. He's throwing punches. He's still there. He's still moving about, especially with the damage he's had to sustain on the league leg. All those chopping left hands are finding a place now for Kev O'Kane. Although well, Prendeville, like you say, hasn't thrown a lot of shots, Dave. Clearly an ex ex exhausting effort that he's put in because the bulk of the time he's been on his bike circling around the outside. Yeah, he hasn't given up here, Ben. He's kept moving. And, uh, he's thrown shots when he when he can and you know try to keep Kevin Kane guessing but just a just a huge golfing class really I hear the UTC boys in the corner asking for a finish calling for him to go to the body surprised he hasn't thrown in many low kicks in this third period Ben to tend to kind of stick to the hands and, and box on the outside and just say that he throws a nice kick like I say, hasn't really committed massively to the kicks this round. As we say, nothing that you know, means to be disrespectful. There's a nice combination. I mean, to be disrespectful for Prendeville, but it is okay. Look at this as a bit of a almost a, an exercise to, to test another element of his game out in an environment where he doesn't feel that threatened. It's another yeah. wrinkle to his tack, and that's a big leg kick. Really ran into that one. Just getting cage time under his belt, Kevo Kane. Four and one record going into this. No disrespect to Prenderville, but surely looking at going five and one after this, you know, he's certainly going to be looked at as a legit prospect, OK? Got a lot of guys to train with down at UTC. They've got some fantastic young fighters. He's hurt to the body. He's hurt to the body, Prenderville. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds left. Is he going to see this one out, Prenderville? What a game performance from Prenderville. Top as they come, Dave. Taking a lot of punishment. But a game finishes this as he started, dictating the pace, throwing the strikes on the outside. And surely only one victor in that one. Yeah, certainly, without doubt, Kevo Kane moving on. OK, ladies and gentlemen. After three hard four rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards. All three judges have rendered a unanimous decision, scoring about 30 27 in favour of your winner from the red corner, Kev O'Kane. But let's hear it from a very gallant runner up. Let's hear it for James Perendeville. Ladies and gentlemen, here with your winner, Kev O'Kane. Kev, a really dominating performance like that. You seem quite pleased with it, but in your head, I could tell when you were going around, you really wanted to finish. Is, there, is that something that's eating away at you a little bit? Yeah, I just can't seem to finish people anymore. My first few fights, I was tapping everyone out, but fucking, uh, uh, you know, well, I keep him clean with shots, like, you got a good chin, you know what I mean? So, wins a win, but. I mean, coming into that, the, get, the leg kicks really seemed to be landing a lot in the first and the second rounds. Was that something you felt that you could have stopped him with going forward? Because he absorbed a lot of leg kicks. It hurt my, really hurt my foot. I don't know what I've done to it. But can't, can't hardly move it, but 
That's why I didn't throw many in the third round, but I should have, I, I, I don't know, I should have stopped them, but oh well. And as you say yourself, a win's a win there. Just finishing on that, is there anybody you'd like to say thanks to? Any shout outs you'd like to give? Yeah, everyone at UTC, especially all my sparring part, especially Leon, who barring, barring me every week, and uh, Yannick, Silk, everyone who helps me out. Everyone, everyone at Red Corner as well, I think Coventry helps me out, so thanks to everyone. Miss, my girlfriend, Mrs. Steph as well, thank you, Steph. Fantastic, let's hear it for your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Kev O'Kane. Thank you.